Swimming Pool After Effects tutorial. First, create a new solid and go to your effects and presets and add the fractal noise effect to that solid and increase the contrast to around 350. Go back to your effects tab and add the mosaic effect and increase both your horizontal and vertical blocks. But make sure the horizontal blocks value is slightly higher. Add a tint effect and make the blacks to a pale blue and the whites to a slightly darker blue. Now you'll want to create a new solid called grid and add the grid effect to it. Change the size from corner point to width and height sliders and increase the width and height. Try to match the squares from the mosaic to the grid. Now create a new adjustment layer and add the turbulent displace effect to it. Change the amount to 28, size to 60 and offset turbulence to 800 by 720. Hold alt on your keyboard and click the stopwatch next to evolution and this text box should show up. Now type time star 80 in this box. This is called an expression. This makes our animation no longer static. It should make it look like this so far. Now we're gonna add our blurs. Go to your effects and presets tab and add fast box blur to your adjustment layer. Change the blur radius to four. Then go back to your effects and presets and add a vector blur as well and increase the amount. This will smooth in the edges of your grid layer, making it look more realistic like a real pool. You can slightly mess with these settings to fine tune it to your exact preference and angle you're using for your scene. Now we're gonna create the water core sticks. Create a new solid and add the fractal noise effect. Increase and invert the contrast. Change the fractal type to strings. Noise type from soft linear to linear and open the transform and lower the scale to around 24. Hold alt and type the time star 80 expression again in the text box that comes up. Add the fast box blur effect. Change the radius to 30. Add CC vector blur and increase the amount. Add levels, increase the blacks using the histogram. This will highlight the whites, which will be your core sticks. Now duplicate both of your blur effects. You can mess with the gamma on the levels to increase or decrease how many core sticks you want and how visible you want them to be. Go to your fractal noise layer and change the blending mode to add. Our swimming pool texture should look like this with our core sticks so far. And finally, we're gonna create our ripple effect. Create an adjustment layer and go to your effects and presets and add the ripple effect to your adjustment layer and increase the radius, wave width and wave height and your final product should look like this. I hope you learned something from this After Effects tutorial. Click the link in the description to join my in-depth After Effects course and remember to like and subscribe. Have a good one.